What's going on, everybody? This is Brian Funk, aka Afro DJ Mac. I'm the author of Warp Academy's Ableton Push 2 Jumpstart video course. Today, I've got another update video to some of the new features of Live 9.7 and Push 2. We're going to talk about how we can set up our track routing directly from Push and some of the workflow improvements to when you're in the arrangement view in Ableton Live. Enjoy! A powerful new feature in Ableton Live 9.7 and Push 2 is the ability to change our audio routing and our monitoring directly from Push. So I can do this by pressing the Mix button. And that brings us to our Mix page. And I'll press this new button which says Input and Output. That allows us to change the monitoring, the input, and the input type, and we can switch to output and change the output. So I'm going to go to our second audio track, which I have record enabled. I'm going to set its monitoring to off, and its input is going to be set to the first track, which is our beat. Now I can press play and see the input coming to our track directly from push. There's a new feature within the Fixed Length button. If I hold down Fixed Length, I see an option for Phrase Sync. Phrase Sync changes the way Fixed Length works. Normally, Fixed Length will just start recording a bar from the first bar and just record for however long we have, and we have four bars right here. But with Phrase Sync on, it'll allow us to record our bar starting at a specific point relative to the musical phrase. So that means, for instance, if I'm at bar 7 of my recording and I press fixed length, I'm going to start recording at the third bar of this four bar loop. So right now I have phrase sync set to off. I'm going to press play. And I'll start recording at the third bar. And you'll notice push started recording with the first bar. And now I'm going to turn phrase sync on by pressing the button. And I'll start our track over just so you can see the relative nature of this. So when I press play, we're going for bar. And now when I hit record, it's going to start me at my third bar within the clip. And then it goes back to one. So what phrase sync is doing is it's considering the relative nature of the clip compared to the global timeline. The functionality of the record button has changed slightly as well. Now if I press record while in session view, I'll start recording a clip. And I can hit that and I'll hit stop. But if I hold down shift, pressing record will now enable record in the arrangement view. So now I've enabled the global record in arrangement view and I can press play. And you'll see that I've begun recording inside arrangement view. And I can hit record again now since I'm in arrangement view and that will stop the recording. And the same functionality works in reverse. If I hold down shift and press record here, I enable record in my session view over here. Another functionality added to push to is the ability to duplicate and delete clips from arrangement view. So if I have a clip selected in arrangement view, I can simply press duplicate to duplicate that clip and then I can press delete to delete that clip. So the selected clip can be duplicated and deleted. And this adds to your ability to use push in arrangement view. Thanks a lot for watching these videos on the updates to Ableton Live 9.7 and Push 2. There's a lot more free stuff where that came from. If you check out the link below, you can see some videos from my video course, Ableton Push 2 Jumpstart. And Warp Academy has a ton of great tutorials and videos. So like the channel, like the video, and we'll see you soon. Take care.